The first thing we're going to do is look at importing some third-party ASCII software. In this case we're looking at a civil CAD format. We select the option File IO, Data Input, Civil CAD. First thing you want to do is find your Civil CAD file and if you click on the folder icon you'll note that there's nothing there and that's because it's looking in our working directory and we only just created the working directory when we created the project. So we need to browse for the file, go up one level and you'll find the file detailsurvey.as5. Double click on that. So that we don't have to rely on the layers that came from the CivilCAD ASCII file, we're going to map this data as it comes in. So you can click on the folder icon, walk right on user library, now, if you don't see the Detail Survey version 10 map file here, it means that back in the last step where we created the environment configuration, you haven't done that correctly, and it's a good idea to go back and fix that problem now. Inside the panel here, the key for our map file is in going to be the code. So this will take the Civil CAD code and compare it to our map file. And we're just going to prefix the data with survey and then a space and note that that's in lowercase and this will therefore keep all the data with lowercase at the bottom of the list and any data with an uppercase at the top of the list. We can now just click on read. You'll note that if I just move this out of the way, you'll note that 12D creates a new uh, plan view called data input and that was configured in the side that env.4D file we looked at earlier and all our data has come in, been turned on in that plan view. And if I hit the minus button, you'll see all our data has been prefixed with survey space, the survey in lowercase, and we can turn on any of our models or off any of our models. If you zoom in, you can see all your data has line styles, colors, and symbols as have been defined in our version 10 map file.